Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is Virgo uh, for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Virgo, mid-December 2020. So we're going to do the True Love Spread and also you can get this reading on my website as a personal reading if you would like to see the energies between you and someone else and the potential of that relationship. The website link is in the description below this video. You can, there's other readings there as well, so you can check it out on my website. All right, so Virgo, I see that you see this person as, maybe you don't have enough time to be with them because of your career or their career, financial and career issues are a factor right now maybe you can't be together right now because you're busy with work or there's some issues with finances someone is, could be pressing uh, putting pressure on you um there's this controlling maybe uh controlling energy about money so if you have children with someone someone is trying to you know, uh, maybe that's the issue between the two of you, money for the children, you see, right here. But uh, they see you as you need to allow the situation to unfold naturally. That's what uh, they want you to do right now. But um, it could be that there's some, some financial issues. Um, they are causing problems in you getting to know each other better or doing things together right now that you like to do if you're you know already in a relationship or have children getting to know each other is the overall energy or deepening the bond between the two of you so you may need to do things that cost money but uh right now because of work or career time or money you can't do those things What's the strength in a relationship? Ooh. Release your ex. So you've cleared your energy and this could be this controlling ex using the children uh, on your part, on your side or their side. Uh, and that is going to be released. So that's less of a problem <laughs> right now. It's not a problem. So it's a positive. And um, maybe someone has left a person, a relationship, and now gave you, uh, you know, uh, is giving you time to get to know you. And is starting off like that. Um, also, you may be trying to forget an ex here. So you may be trying to forget an ex. By getting to know someone, someone new. Religious factors is the issue. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you may have different paths. Um, you need to let go of this person. They may be trying to control and to keep you there. Uh, or you trying to keep this person in your life. And they have other things other another path to uh to go another another direction they're going in, in a new direction than you so this could also be cultural background or religious differences or age as well that is an obstacle age gap religious beliefs or upbringing What's the outcome, Virgo? Children, you see? Children could be affecting your... Shh, 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 king. No, no, stop that. You giving the relationship a chance with this person or them giving you uh, a chance because of children or the ex that you or them 
have children with. So it's time to disconnect from the world. Retreat. This could be just a situation where you still want to spend time together, but not make it official. Okay. I feel in the outcome, this is what's happening, but there is issues here with children or letting go of someone, of an ex. Um, I feel they will let go. They may not let go just yet. Or you completely um, release yourself from whatever control they have over you, your ex. And you will be able to give this relationship a chance. For others of you, this could be your relationship that needs, uh, you need some time together, okay? And because of children, you don't really have time together. Your own children with, you know, you may have children with each other. And it's just about the children right now and not really about you and this person. So I do see in the outcome you're going to have this time together to give to try and give this relationship a chance again okay someone could have distanced themselves from you took some time retreated how do you see this person Virgo Abundance. So this could be someone that's very abundant financially, uh, or you staying positive, uh, positive mindset, gratitude, manifesting exactly what you want. This is, this person is exactly who you want. Okay. They how they they see how do they see Virgo talking? Interested in in talking to you and uh, talking more. Uh, waiting for your message or call. They are waiting for your message. They like to talk to you. They may be waiting for you to call. Getting to know each other. What's the overall energy? I feel this is someone new because you're getting to know each other. For the ones that are together and you're giving this relationship a chance, you need to talk more with each other. Keep the communication lines open and stay positive even through this situation where you're just working working or your partner is working or there's issues with finances right now you have to keep the communication lines open for this to for you to work things out getting to know each other what's the overall energy here so your bond deepens separation Missing you, so thinking about you, yearning for you, so someone that wants to get to know you, you're in separation right now, they miss you, Virgo. And they want to, yeah, they're unsure about the future without you. Release your ex. So this, uh, I feel, this could be your ex missing you. Obviously, uh, they having a hard time. Chase that in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. If you have a ex that you know doesn't want you to let them go, if this is you, you're chasing this person could work, could work out well. Okay, because that's in the positive. But there is someone that wants to, they can't stay alone or without you here. Uh, or you can't stay without this ex. But right now in separation, um, I feel that, you know, there's two people here. There's an ex and a new person. For some of you, you have uh, someone that doesn't really... Um, you having a hard time to kind of work things out with and you may be interested in someone new as well in, in talking to someone new and you see you're very positive about that even them interested in you and wanting to to be in your life and to get to know you more um, or this is uh, all about your ex 
and the chase is on, the chase is on, <laughs> they, they want to, again, to keep the communication lines open with you, even in separation, they miss you. Religious factors, so what's the obstacle here for Virgo? Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So someone struggles with that, needs to, to, do, to do some inner work, to work through those issues of self-acceptance as well. Accepting because of the religious factors could be because you have a, a, a very a very big age gap or you have you're very different from each other and someone can also yeah lacking self worth here or you um, sometimes can fall into that so you need to work through those issues. With the Four of Swords, this is how you feel. This is recovery. You want this time um, also to end this time apart from each other or without communication. How do you see this person? I feel this is the new person that we're talking here. Let's see how do you feel about the new person, if this is you. Wow. You see someone online coming back to you, talking to you. So it could be someone that you already knew and they they message you online because you've got the computer here and the world could be a long distance relationship. And if this is an ex, how does Virgo feel? Ten of Wands, so you're still in... Uh, this is taking, taking. You're still taking things slow. It's a, a, a burden. Could be a financial burden. This X as well for some of you, but uh, for others of you, it's just you need to take things slow. And it's like a stagnant energy, and with a lot of uh, struggle with the Ten of Wands reversed, not knowing how to end that struggle here with this X. How they feel about you, the new person? Wow, Nine of Swords, they're very worried. Why are you not talking to them? They're starting to have dark thoughts. Fears, yeah, because they they have a crush on you. They do have feelings here. They, you, you you know, um, yeah, they're starting to get to have feelings for you. They're definitely crushing. <laughs> Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. So they don't see things growing from just a friendship. Or, you know, they don't see much results or much effort from you right now. And they're getting worried. What about the past, the ex? How, how is it? How is the ex feeling about Virgo? Wow, they see you as the King of Pentacles reverse. They don't see you investing in this relationship. Maybe also problems with money. Could be another Virgo. Oh, they don't see you as investing here. Getting to know each other. Clarify the overall energy. For Virgo. Page of Wands. So someone wants to be close to you intimately. If this is an ex, they you know they want you to make a move on them. They miss you. They miss intimacy with you. And if this is someone new, they definitely want to start this uh, uh, this new passion. Yeah, three of swords reverse. So <clears throat> getting to know each other and forgiveness here. But <clears throat> I feel. Some of you, this is definitely an apology. Someone needs to apologize. Some, 
someone needs to apologize to, to get things going. And that's the separation. Someone wants uh, forgiveness here. This could be the ex, when you want forgiveness from the ex, but there's some avoidance. Someone is, it could be avoiding um, accepting this apology. I feel like overall you're trying to rebuild um, on your stability with the Seven of Pentacles here and the Tower reversed after some loss or destruction in your relationships. Disruption. Release X was the um, energy for Virgo here. Positive. The Two of Cups. So the positive is definitely releasing someone that you don't. You feel like you can't connect anymore. Don't see eye to eye. Yeah. So keeping keeping things to yourself, but. You could have an issue letting go of someone that you're holding on too tight and the connection may not be there. You need to work on yourself or the issues that surrounds this relationship, which could be one of you on, on that uh, needing to focus on themselves, okay? Because even this person here feels like you should go into introspection and change find find some find find the light here find a new path also maybe for your career as well they feel like you need to to find yourself again what's the obstacle the emperor this is aries Capricorn, Taurus, energy. Um, this could be a father figure, the a father of their children, or you as, or your own father. Issues with uh, your own father here. That's the shadow work for some of you. Um, healing that needs to happen, connected to a father figure. And um, the emperor could also be this job that you know uh, an emperor is a boss, and you too too much focus on just yourself, not investing or spending time with anyone else right now, or whoever is the emperor. Okay, they just focus on they being a little bit selfish here. And for a relationship to work out, it needs to, you know, it takes two. Empress reversed. Yeah. So with the Empress, for some of you, it's um, someone, okay, I'm getting single parent. Single parent. Maybe you come from a, a single parent uh, home or this is that lack of self-love, not, not nurturing yourself, okay? Or this person lacks self-care, self self-worth, doesn't have enough time for self-care, self or uh, you know it needs to work on their uh, self-love even not on their appearance it could be just you know the uh, um, the empress someone that had children and didn't really get back on you know um, body the body needs um, could be healing or someone just had a baby or needs to lose weight as well someone has some issues with um, with that okay if it's you you need to work through uh, those issues and make the changes that accordingly okay try to focus on that try to 
you know, do uh, self-care so you can feel better about yourself. It's all about um, feeling better, not looking perfect. Okay? Feeling good about yourself or feeling better. Some of you, something physical that is off. It makes you feel... Um, it makes you feel, could even be lacking of energy or uh, lack of self-esteem as well, okay? But uh, this, you know, uh, it's uh, overall energy, so it's uh, someone that could even have a, ch a child from this person and the religious factors is you're not really, you would not, meant for each other, kind of, you know, on paper. Yeah. Different religion, different, you know, background or upbringing, very different, and then that caused uh, the relationship not to work out because of those differences. I will clarify in the outcome if you want to join me there. Even though I see you giving this relationship a chance and spending some time disconnecting with each other, disconnecting from the world and with and connecting with each other. All right. So after disconnection, you were definitely disconnected here with this separation. But they really do miss you right now, Zygo. So I will check that in the uh, extended reading to access the extended. All you need to do is to become a member of the channel. You have the join button below and you can also find the link to, to the reading in, in the comments or in the description below this video. All right, um, Virgo, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all the best, peace, love and light for all of you. Take care. Bye-bye.